A long, long time ago, in a land far away, a dream was born. And it grew and never stopped growing. So the girl moved to Texas and met Batman. They fell in love and the dream kept growing. So they sold the house. And they moved into the RV. So now we need to make this into this. So join me as I downsize 85%, learn Spanish, get a budget, and enjoy the journey. Welcome to Joe's Joyful Journeys. So, happy Thursday afternoon. Welcome to um, Joe's Joyful Journeys. It has been quite the few days. So, as most of you know, um, the, the whole plan for this series, the whole plan for this YouTube channel was that people kept asking me about this dream I had and how I was going to make it a reality. and. I'd done years of research, um, and yet sometimes something will come and kick you. Um, and as my husband says, have you ever been shoved through an open door? And that's what this week has been all about. So last week I was um, on a mission with the Texas State Guard. I got back on Monday um, to find that the company that I contracted to had been bought out yet again um, or changed hands yet again and I was very much behind the eight ball I had patients that were scheduled for Tuesday and it's very important to me that I respect my patients time and so that I hit those appointments and apparently there was a whole new slew of doing different paperwork different everything and long story short um, I didn't feel like my needs were being met and I talked to Sean about it and I said I don't know what to do and he says you do know what to do and he said you know ever since we did the move I've moved down to two days a week so that we could get everything done and I had to have time to get everything done and he said you know on those on those other days a week you're finding joy and on the two days that you're doing therapy you don't find joy um, and it's not that I don't love my patients, I do. I love treating patients, I love making patients feel better. I mean, I love that part of it. But this industry has not been about that for a long time. This industry has been about paperwork um, and justifying to payers for longer than it's been about treating patients. So he said, maybe you should just retire now. We'll just, we'll manage, we'll do what we need to do. Um, and why, maybe you should retire now. So on Tuesday, I retired. Two hours later, my husband called me and said, have you ever been shoved through an open door? And I said, what are you talking about? He said, well, what brings you joy? And I, was, I went through all the things that brought me joy. And he said, we have an arts fest coming up. He said, I'm going to sign you up for it. And of course, I, as some of you know, I've been painting for, for a few years now, maybe three, four years. Um, he said, give you an outlet for part of your joy. So now I'm about to go to the courthouse and actually do my business name and all that good stuff. Um, it's really super exciting, terrifying, but sometimes there's, there's worth in being terrified. There is, because you realize it is a big deal and it is a, um, it is important and more than that, I realized that my husband is my person. Um, he he has faith in me when I don't necessarily have faith in myself. And um, he's believed in me through this whole process. And that is, 
amazing and overwhelming all at the same time. Um, very overwhelming, actually. So anyway, um, we're moving on to this phase. Apparently a little ahead of schedule, but you know what? God's timing is always perfect. And we're going to see what this phase brings. So Joe's joyful journeys just took a nice little turn in absolutely the right direction. Stay with me and we'll walk you through it. Thanks. So my husband asked me when we were talking about the Arts Fest and I was talking about doing kind of like a little banner for the YouTube channel as well. He said, well, what have the two got to do with each other? And in all honesty, they have everything to do with each other because they're both part of this journey of joy. Up on the screen, you'll see some of my works, but why, one, why Gen 1.10? In Genesis chapter 1, verse 10, God separates the land from the sea. Hence, he made the beach. He made my happy place. He made the place that I've always found deep peace and relaxation from a lot of things. As long as I can remember being a kid, I would go, love to go to the Southport Beach to the dunes and just sit on the dunes. And it was like just sitting there would kind of wash away the stresses of the world. I've pretty much found that at any beach I've ever been to. Regardless of the weather, regardless of the waves, I have found that piece. And so that's why I like to paint that. Um, you'll see that I'm still kind of working on my style. I've only really been painting since just, since just before the pandemic hit. So I haven't had an opportunity to go to any painting classes, but I really do tend to like this ink pen and watercolor um, techniques where you kind of draw it out, you ink it in, and then you watercolor over it, and then you ink some more. Um, I, for some reason, I really identify with that. I really like that. You'll see there's a lot of girls on the beach, and that kind of stems back to what I was talking about was where I was finding my peace and joy. So therefore, that's what I like to paint. Art for me is not complicated. I know that for some people, art is very complicated, but for me, it's simply a question of does what I'm looking at and what I'm working on bring me joy or doesn't it? There's only two possible answers, yes or no. If it does, I like it. If it doesn't, I don't like it. Um, I'm sure there's people that have been to art school for a long time that would probably be horrified at that, and that's okay. Um, it's okay to be horrified at that because art is very personal. For me, this stuff makes me happy. And yes, I know that there's a plethora of different techniques. I'm just trying to figure out which one I really like. And you know what? Depending on the day, sometimes I like one technique, sometimes I like another. Painting in watercolor has been a challenge. Um, you cannot add light to watercolor. So you have to leave things off the paper rather than adding light on there later. And so therefore you can mess it up and. So I tend to get a little nervous about adding too much dark to my paintings, which I really need to add for depth. I love the cartooning. I love the seagulls. Anybody who's ever been to Blackpool, and hopefully I think one of them may be coming up later, um, will remember that the seagulls will steal your french fries or pinch your chips, depending on what country you're in, that's how you say it. So. Um, they're very cheeky, so I love to portray that. Um, the speech and water and just having fun, making something that's fun. You'll see um, a lot of different waveforms from calm waves to big bulky waves. Um, a lot of the Mediterranean. Love the Mediterranean architecture. I love that white against that very, very blue sky. That just, that really like, I really like that. Again, the girls at the beach just represent that stage of my life when I can get to the beach and I can dance. When all else is falling apart, sometimes I just have to go to the beach and dance. Living in North Texas, that's not easy, by the way. <laughs> it's a long drive to the beach. I love the canals in England. Absolutely love them. 
I think if I hadn't wanted to retire to Costa Rica, I would have probably wanted to retire in a canal boat. But you know what? That may be just a little too chilly. And some of these are from tutorials, some of them are from photographs, some of them are from other paintings. Again, if it made me smile, I gave it a go. Sometimes it worked, sometimes it didn't, and that's okay. You can't find joy if you don't know what doesn't bring you joy. This was one of the first ones I actually painted like human forms with with face on and this is the queen with one of her corgis and I love the fact that she's always been so connected with her dogs. And then just looking at the water. Just chillaxing and looking at the water. Just makes me happy, just brings me joy. And then finally, the footprints on the beach. Again, I'm always reminded of the story where they say, well, why was there only one set of footprints? God, be and God says, because I was carrying you then. I love that. So welcome to Joe's Joy Meter again. I hope something in this video brought you joy, brought a smile to your face. I would love it if you would like, subscribe. And I've now figured out where the comments are and how to access them. So hopefully I'll be catching up on replying to comments. So what made Joe's Joy Amita jubilant this week? So firstly, my absolutely adorable, sweet, dorky, sexy, funny husband who has faith in me even when I don't have faith in myself. Baby, I love doing life with you. I do. And secondly, my ability to go to my happy place even when it is not here. God has granted me such a gift that, not the gift to paint, that is not the gift I'm talking about. I'm talking about the gift that I can put ink on a piece of paper and take my head to its happy place has nothing to do with the art or the quality of the art. It has everything to do with God providing for me. So I hope you've enjoyed Joe's joyful journeys and I hope that you will tune in again. I hope you'll like, I hope you'll subscribe. And now I know how to answer. I hope you'll comment.